Halt, stop, one second. Dasselbe Video in Deutsch hier oben in der Ecke. Welcome to a new Schnittlabor Video. 3, 2, 1, Schnittlabor International Review. Yeah. It looks almost like a weapon. Today I want to present another video microphone. It's from a company called Viewflex. But when I look at this, it seems to me like I almost have a deja vu. Um, is it really called Viewflex? This microphone, it's a Chinese production. The precise name is video microphone VFM10, as you can see here. They um, ship this one with different cables, adapters to cameras or to smartphone even. Um, they ask me if I want to have a look at it and I'm completely objective. No one pays me for this review. This one here has uh, several pockets which come with it. Like this kind of like, uh, it's maybe like a pop uh, protection. They even have a very uh, big and even kind of stable uh, wind protection. This one I was really surprised how well it is working outside. You can also, for example, connect it to the Osmo Pocket, which I like to use very much together with this extension rod. Here on the side, it has a little connector where you can put in the microphone and you can fix it like that. Then, of course, you need the audio adapter because without audio adapter, no way to get in this cable into the DJ Osmo Pocket. When you switch it on, as you can see, the camera is preparing and then you can put it into selfie mode. And you have this very nice microphone situated here at the side. Sometimes it can happen that when you move the camera around, some hair of this microphone is appearing. You could take it away, but outside when there is wind, you really need it. So it's not really like a perfect solution, but I think it's also more interesting for you to compare this microphone, which can be used, for example, with the DJI Osmo Pocket with two alternatives that came to my mind. So we are now going to go into the comparison. This is the original sound of the DJI Osmo Pocket and I will connect, sorry. Connected here, then it says the audio adapter is connected. And it also looks like I'm getting a signal. Uh, it's kind of like facing directly uh, towards my voice. Viewflex on an ancient Panasonic consumer camera. This is now the microphone connected and I was trying to do it in automatic mode, but there was like too much uh, information. So I go down to minus 18 decibel. And comparing to this internal mic with auto gain level. your step Here she comes You better watch your step Here she comes Better watch your step She's going to break your heart in two oh. Sounds like Velvet Underground This is now an outdoor test of the Viewflex microphone The wind cut uh, is actually mounted uh, on top But the problem is it's, it's seen also a little bit Like if I turn my head you see here this in the corner 
It's a wind noise blocker. Actually, it's not so windy, but I just wanted to show you that this can be a problem with this microphone. But uh, on the other hand, I also have like a wide angle adapter on the DJI Osmo Pocket. And therefore, it's maybe not really fair to complain about this. But I saw it also when I took away this wide angle adapter. And I will also now pull out the extension rod so that you have an acoustic impression from the distance, cars driving around, some people speaking and so forth. Okay, so now outside I connected the Comica uh, microphone, which has the stereo field, but I was kind of sticking it directly onto the screen of the DJI Osmo Pocket, because I didn't want to put it down here, because otherwise the two microphones would point downwards, and this maybe doesn't really make sense uh, in the public. So I will now also pull out the extension rod and let's check how it sounds like. Now the extension rod is pulled out totally. This is, as you can hear, the acoustic result with some people walking and talking around in the center of the kind of like silent Berlin today. So last but not least, I also want to show you, uh, remind you this uh, little Lavalier mic, which I was presenting to you in one of my last videos. You find a link up here in this corner. This is directly connected to my jacket. You will see it in a second. This is what it sounds like, the noise level of my voice, if you will. And the great advantage is that this is connected directly to my body. So if I pull out the extension rod right now, first, you won't have any disturbing noise while I pull out this one, because it's just right in front of my body and not connected to the physics of this uh, rod. And on the other hand, here you can see these two little microphones, which would also be suitable for an interview situation. This is what you can expect from the sound in this way. From this point of view, maybe acoustic-wise, the Lavalier mic is the best solution, I guess, but you always have to carry this cable around, and it's like maybe something for catching the fish. Uh, it looks like that, yeah. But on the other hand, for this reason, maybe those two other microphones can also be very interesting to check out. Okay, now I'm actually already on my way back and I just wanted to tell you why for you if you are interested in this technology to also check these uh, playlists and if you like this video somehow please give me a like and uh